we want to solve the log equation four times the square of log base two of x equals log base two of x raised to the power of 12. Notice here we can't easily combine the logs into a single log and then write the log equation as an exponential equation. So what we'll do is begin by applying the power property of logarithms, which is log base b of x raised to the power of n equals n times log base b of x. However, it's important to recognize we cannot apply this power property of logarithms to the square of log base two of x because the exponent of two is attached to the entire logarithm, not just the x. But we can apply the power property to the right side of the equation where log base two of x raised to the power of 12 is equal to 12 times log base two of x. So this gives us four times the square of log base two of x equals 12 times log base two of x. And now to more easily recognize, we are going to solve by factoring. We will now perform a substitution and let u equal log base two of x. If we let u equal log base two of x, notice the left side of the equation becomes four u squared, which is equal to on the right side, just 12 u. So if we were solving the equation for u now, we would set the equation equal to zero and factor. And let's go ahead and do this. The next step will be to subtract 12u on both sides, which gives us 4u squared minus 12u equals zero. And now remember the first step in factoring is to factor out the greatest common factor, which in this case is 4u. If we factor out 4u, we're left with the quantity u minus three. Now that we have the equation factored in terms of u, we'll perform the substitution again and replace u with log base two of x. So writing the equation back in terms of x, we now have four times log base two of x times the quantity log base two of x minus three equals zero. From here, because the product on the left is equal to zero, either four times log base two of x must equal zero or log base two of x minus three must equal zero. And now we'll solve these two log equations by isolating the logarithm and then writing the log equation as an exponential equation. So for the first equation here, we'll divide both sides by four, which gives us log base two of x equals zero. For the second equation, we'll add three to both sides, which gives us log base two of x equals three. The next step is to write each log equation as an exponential equation using the definition of a logarithm shown here, where log base b of n equals x is equivalent to b raised to the power of x equals n, where the base is b, the exponent is x, and the number is n. So for log base two of x equals zero, the equivalent exponential equation is two raised to the power of zero equals x. For the second equation, the equivalent exponential equation is two raised to the power of three equals x. Two raised to the power of zero is equal to one, so x equals one, or two to the power of three or two cubed is equal to eight, giving us x equals eight. So notice how the equation has two solutions. I hope you found this helpful.